All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus six to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna divide both sides by four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x over four to the power of x plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. Now, four to the power of x and four to the power of x cancel out, so I get one plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, six to the power of x over four to the power of x is gonna equal six over four to the power of x. And nine to the power of x over four to the power of x is gonna equal nine, to the, nine over four to the power of x. Now I can simplify these fractions. So six over four is equal to three over two. And nine over four, I'm gonna rewrite as three squared over two squared. And I can actually use this property again for three squared over two squared. So that's gonna equal three over two squared to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So this can equal one plus three over two to the power of x, which is equal to three over two to the power of x to the power of two. Now I'm going to let three over two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get one plus y is equal to y squared and if I subtract y minus one on both sides, these four cancel out and I get y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. Now, to solve this equation, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is negative one, and c is negative one. So I get y is equal to negative of negative one plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac. So negative one squared, which is one, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is negative one, all over two a, so two times one. Now this is equal to positive one plus or minus square root of one plus four over two which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So y is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. However, we're not done yet because we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. And remember how we let three over two to the power of x equal to y. So this gives me two equations. I have three over two to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two, as well as three over two to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Now to actually start, we can already cancel out one of these equations, which is the right hand one, because one minus the square root of five is gonna be a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So this equation wouldn't even work. So the only equation I have left is three over two to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. And to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I have log three over two to the power of x is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two. So now this turns into x times log three over two is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two. And now if I divide both sides by log three over two, I get x is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two over log three over two.